Hi everybody, I'm Terry McDaniel with the McDaniel Callahan team. I'm Chris Callahan with the McDaniel Callahan team. And I'm Greg McDaniel with the McDaniel Callahan real estate team. <laughs> you know, actually we've been tracking six, uh, six markets here locally in the 680 corridor. Chris has been following two of them very, very closely. Chris, what have you been finding in the local uh, two cities that you've been tracking? Uh, what have the markets been doing? It's been pretty interesting lately. The Alamo market, which is about 5,400 homes, currently has about 112 listings currently. Uh, average list price is all the way up at two million, wow. whereas two the million. average sold price is roughly about a million. So you can see the, quite the discrepancy in what is for sale and what actually mm. is selling within the market. Mm. Average sold price per foot is 379, and there's about 31 foreclosures. We do believe that there's more foreclosures that will be coming, unfortunately. A lot of short sales that are currently out there. And then, of course, people have probably heard about the phantom inventory, which basically means that the banks are holding more inventory that's yet to be pushed to the marketplace. We would like that to get out there, get sold. Let's get this back to a normal market. Which brings us up to Danville. Danville has 279 houses on the market. Their average listing price is about a million one, million one fifty. And their average sales price is about 830. So you can see the market's talking again. It's the lower priced homes that are more desirable right now. Mm. It's the affordability issue. Of course, we have the interest rates at a long time low that you've ever seen before, even lower than I started back in 1973. You know you just dated yourself, right? I did. <laughs> But I've got gray hair and they call me the silverback, so it's going to be okay. Uh, but the one thing that's sort of interesting, like Chris brought up, is that there is what we call this phantom in inventory. And uh, most people don't realize there are a lot of houses that are not on the market that really would be on the market if someone made a reasonable price on that property. We just happen to have that list. And Greg, why don't you share a little bit about your cities and then talk about that list. Sure. Yeah, not a problem. I'm tracking Lafayette and Pleasant Hill. Uh, to date, Lafayette is actually producing very, very well. Year to date in Lafayette, we have about 107 homes that have sold in the marketplace. We're up actually a little over 33%, which actually translates for you homeowners in Lafayette that you, just by living in your home for the last year, you've made another, gosh, almost thirty-seven dollars to $40,000 just by a, being a homeowner in your town that you love. Pleasant Hill is a little bit of a different story. In there, you know, our, our number of sales is up almost 6%, translates about 130 sales year to date. But our equity in Pleasant Hill has stayed even. So by living in your home, unlike a lot of the other cities in the Bay Area, you have not lost any equity in your property. It's still a very, very sound investment. And I would actually be encouraged people to invest into Pleasant Hill. I actually seen that to becoming one of the next uh, Walnut Creeks as the way they've redeveloped downtown and just the, 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 the quality of people that are moving in. That's right. Investor market right now would be yeah. great too. If there's an opportunity for somebody that has some cash put away, you may not quite have a great huge cash flow per month, but you're probably going to get real close to breaking even. And certainly in the future, that equity buildup is going to be huge. Well, the other part too is that if you're a renter right now and you're sitting in your place paying rent at uh, dollar and a half to two and a half dollars per square foot, it makes sense now because of the low yeah. interest rates and the stabilization of the marketplace to move into buying a home, holding on to it and realizing now you have a better selection of properties. You know, you got a, you got a good point on that and I want to wrap this up with this point right here, folks. The Medina Callahan team has a unique product. Um, it's a list that we have purchased and in that list we have the ability to extract out homeowners that have not been on the market before or not currently on the market right now and we can market directly to them to have them become your next home that you're gonna you're gonna buy in essence we can find properties that are not on the market and they'll never go on the market but we can negotiate the deal for you and help you get into your next home speaking of which new listing McDaniel Callahan team west right. side mm -hmm. it is Alamo location under a million dollars yes, just the house. price point that we've been kind of talking yeah, about yeah, good house could use some sweat equity, but it'll certainly pay back in the future. Yeah. Call us for more information. Our number, 925-838-4300, and we'll give you all the details. Thanks so much for Thanks, listening. Thanks, folks.